Eric Swecker, I'm Musa 209. My name is Andrew Walsh. Uh, I'm the Lieutenant Commander of the uh, Sigma Nu Chapter in Musa 205. Chris Hansman, 216. Noble Tillotson, Musa 210. Uh, my name is Peter Doe, 197. Uh, Austin Bodley, Musa 207. My name is Justin Seguin, I'm Musa 200. I'm um, Dalton Nitch, I'm Musa 203, the Commander of the Chapter. Uh, honestly, I didn't see myself as a fraternity guy. I mean, I always thought they partied hard and stuff, and uh, really kind of just didn't consider it. And uh, one day I was walking away from a class, and um, I had a, another class with a guy who's in another fraternity, and he was like, hey, you should, uh, you should look into rushing said fraternity. So I went to rush, and uh, you know, I actually kind of really liked it, and uh, all that Sigma Nu stood for. Honestly, I get a lot of weird looks when I say this, but uh, I mainly uh, joined the fraternity for the business connections that came with it. You know, you make a lot of connections uh, in Sigma Nu because there are a lot of successful alumni. And you know, they own their own businesses and they can really help you out if you need a job or even starting a career. I wrote Sigma Nu because um, I made a lot of really good friends in the uh, fraternity and I uh, really saw the values coming out. Um, I have to say mainly because most of my friends went off to college so I was looking for something to do. Actually one of my uh, best friends was uh, joining Sigma Nu and he got me interested in it so I came around and I ended up liking most of the guys I hung out with. So. Uh. Just because I met all the guys and even the alumni, the older guys, I felt like I've been, I knew them for a long time. Just came in naturally, honestly, getting along with them and everything. Oh, um, so I, I decided that I wanted to definitely be a part of a organizational school, no matter like on campus, no matter what it was. A lot of people go to Columbus State, really. They go to school and then go home, and I, I didn't really want to do that because I feel like I wanted to make the most out of my college experience. I heard about Greek organizations, I started looking into it, and I actually met some brothers at this event called Meet the Greeks. I met some uh, guys from Sigma Nu, and uh, it seemed like it's pretty cool guys, some guys I could see my house, myself hanging out with and uh, having a good time with. They definitely made an impact on me pretty early. Uh, Tony, first guy I talked to, he's a great guy, one of my favorite brothers, honestly. And yeah, uh, Definitely pitched the plant, pitched the whole idea of Sigma Nu to me, and I was really into it. And I bought into it, and it's probably the best decision I've ever made. Well, at first, I didn't want to do the whole fraternity thing, but once I met all the brothers of Sigma Nu, I realized that they had a close bond, and I wanted to be a part of it. I don't think my favorite Sigma Nu moment is appropriate for footage. Favorite Sigma Nu moment. It has to be San Diego when uh, the chapter decided to send me to San Diego this past summer and uh, we had a blast. As well as uh, getting tattoos with my uh, big bro. I got it by Lieutenant Dan. This guy uh, literally had no legs and has been tattooing people for three days. And I let him mark my body permanently, unfortunately. My favorite Sigma Nu moment was probably the time we went up to the Kennesaw to raft and there's about eight guys in Zach's truck. We ran out of gas in the middle of the freeway, so we all had to jump out and push it across the interstate. That was pretty funny, thinking back on it. My favorite Sigma Nu moment would have to be bed night, making memories with my flesh brother. My favorite Sigma Nu moment was Mountain Weekend 2016. Uh, just really got a bond with brothers uh, that weekend. Favorite Sigma Nu moment? Uh, probably the time that me and uh, Mr. Justin Siegwin rafting down the, uh, I think it was the Flint, and uh, we fell asleep on the raft because the, the hot sun was baking on us for a while there. And <laughs> we woke up pretty abruptly to another brother ramming his kayak into ours and uh, flipped over and there was literally trash all over the Flint. But being the good Samaritans that me and Justin are, we fought the current and picked up every last piece of trash, I'm telling you, out of that river and collected it all into the canoe and uh, still beat Sam and Ed. So. I was pretty happy about that, pretty pumped. <laughs> my, uh, my favorite uh, Sigma Nu moment is definitely uh, my freshman year when we had the big Halloween party. That was the night um, that my Dutch class really bonded. And then the next day we had steeplechase, which was a really good time. My big bro revealed to me right there. Uh, hands down, it's got to be when they sent me to San Diego to Grand Chapter and I met every Sigma Nu from across the United States. And 
hung out with all of them and learned a whole bunch about the chapter and how Signu works. Favorite part of Pledge Ship? Definitely the bonding. Just bonding with the Pledge Brothers. Dude. It's pretty easy to develop brotherhood bonds. I mean, it's just a simple, simple talking to, I guess. I mean, talk to a brother, you can find out your dislikes and likes, and we're pretty easy going. Favorite part of Pledge Ship has hands down was Lee Day Kennesaw. Uh, nothing like I expected. Y'all could ask me about that some other time, but yeah, it was it was a great time. <laughs> I learned a lot about the fraternity, believe it or not, a, lo a lot about the fraternity that I did not know. So yeah, I would definitely say that's probably the most successful trip I've ever been on. Definitely the connections you make with your brothers. Like, I remember coming in and I was like, oh, I don't like any of these guys. But uh, then you get to know them and you know, you grow, you grow with them as people and you know, you make uh, connections and uh, bonds that last for the rest of your life. Advice for people rushing, uh, don't mistake uh, lateness for greatness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sigma News, number one, so uh, get it right. Make your own decisions, be yourself, and don't rush because your friends are going to in a different fraternity. Um, only advice I have, just don't rush into anything. I would look at every angle, every aspect before you join something, because it's not just in college, but it's with you for the rest of your life, so. Um, don't try too hard. Be yourself, shop around, make sure you meet most of the, everybody in the chapters. Don't just sell yourself on one and then make a mistake and regret not talking to the other chapters. If I feel Russian, I would definitely say make your own decision on it. Um, you really need to look into every aspect of everything because with joining a fraternity, no matter what fraternity you decide to join, is a lifelong commitment. You're going to have lifelong friends in it. And you're also going to make lots of new friends, which is one of the best parts, because I know for a fact if I hadn't rushed a fraternity, especially Sigma Nu, I would not have had the friends I have now. And uh, just really cool, the bonds I've made with these guys that I never would have hung out with if I hadn't joined. Just uh, go, go where you fit in, dude. Go where you fit in, because honestly, even if you don't realize it, some of the guys that you would never thought you'd be friends with, you end up being the closest, like, best friends with them.